losses from last year? No loss feels good, but um, I'm proud of the way that the kids played. Uh, they fought their hearts out. If we fight like that every week, I uh, like our chances to win games. Um, you know, we just got to come up at the end and, and make the plays to win the game on both sides of the ball. But uh, uh, I couldn't be more prouder than the players right now. I know they gave everything that they had, and they left it on the field tonight. Coach, you had a game you should have won. We could have won if we put ourselves in better positions, uh, but we didn't. You ran the ball very well, but at the end you decided to throw. How come you didn't run more in the last uh, progression there? Well, you know, there were some things that we had that we felt were going to work. Okay, so uh, time was a factor too. We only had one timeout and down to none, you know. So uh, we didn't want to get stuck in a situation late in the game, you know, burning clock. Uh, but the, the calls that we had, you know, we've executed in the past. We've executed even in that game. So I was confident they were going to get done. So there was no issues there. Was there anything specific that they did to kind of get you to nail out of this comfort zone? Oh, no, they, you know, they're, they're a good team. They got a lot of great talent, you know. They played some man coverage. They played some zone coverage, mixed it up. Um, you know, Jamil had a couple inaccurate throws, but he did a nice job, you know, managing the game. You know, he ran the ball well, and he had some other nice throws. So uh, uh, Jamil wasn't the factor in that game. I, you know, I'd like to see a more, few more completions, but um, I'm proud of Jamil. What did you tell the guys in the locker room after that? I told them that I'm proud of them, but uh, we did lose the game. And uh, we're not going to console ourselves or let anybody else console us. We're going to come back ready to work on Tuesday. And we got uh, 2-0 and New Mexico State team coming in here, and they're going to come after us. And uh, we got to get ready. They do anything on their final drive different on offense? Or? No, they do what they do, and, and we do what we do. And at the end of the game, they did a little bit better. Other than that, was it a good defensive effort? Uh, again, I thought the kids played their hearts out. You know, of course, there were some plays here or there where – you know, there was busted leverage or a missed tackle, but it wasn't due to effort. I know that. After they got that 10 point lead, how, how proud were you of the way they answered? They did, they did the whole game, you know, and, uh, you know, this is a different team. These kids fight and uh, they don't quit. And uh, I don't think you'll ever see that from the UTEP team again. What's the difference between last year and this year? Kids that work, kids that know how to work and want to work and want to win. You guys have 78th place compared to 59, obviously. I think you mentioned you wanted to do, talk about you know, what kind of led to that. Well, we wanted to steal a few possessions. They're a high-powered offense. You know, we wanted to control the clock. We wanted to control the time of possessions. And we felt you know stealing one or two possessions gave us our best chance to win. We wanted to be in a situation in the fourth quarter where we had a chance to win, which we did, but we didn't We didn't finish the job. Is there a lot more confidence right now at one and one than there was at one and one a year ago? Uh, I don't even look back at last year. I don't have rear view mirror, so I'm looking forward. Is there a lot of confidence at 11 1? Um, I think we're going to come back. We're going to work and get ready for next week. Talk about how you guys handled the no huddles. I know they only caught you off guard one time. That was most important in that last drive. Uh, the kids practice hard all week. You know, they, we practiced two huddles out in the entire week so they could be ready for the tempo. Uh, I thought they got the calls in fast. They lined up fast and they played fast. That's what I asked them. They did. Again, we just came up short. Anybody got anything else? All right, thanks, guys.